Hey, good morning, good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's session, Power Apps Component Framework Question and Answers. The way I am structuring this session, first I will start with a question followed up by an answer. There are around 30 to 35 questions. Let's get started. What is Power Apps Component Framework (PCF)? PCF allows developers to create custom components for use within Power Apps. These components can be used to enhance the user experience and functionality that is not available out of box. Question: How does PCF differ from traditional Power Apps development? Unlike traditional Power Apps development, which mainly involves configuring existing components, PCF allows developers to build custom components using modern web technologies like TypeScript, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other JavaScript libraries. Question. What are the main building blocks of PCF component? The main building blocks of PCF component are the manifest file, component code, and resource files. The manifest file defines the component's metadata, including properties and resources. The component code contains the logic, and resources file contains the style sheets, images, and other assets. Question: How can you debug PCF component? You can debug PCF component by using browser developer tools. Since the PCF components run within the context of web page, you can set breakpoints, inspect variables, use other debugging techniques available in the browser's developer's tool. Question: What is the role of manifest file in PCF component? The manifest file is crucial in a PCF component as it defines the metadata for the component. This includes properties such as component's name, version, description and the properties it exposes to Power Apps. Question: Can PCF components be used in both Canvas apps and modern model-driven apps? Yes, PCF components can be used in both Canvas app and model-driven app. What is the importance of init method in PCF component? The init method is a lifecycle method in the PCF component that is called when the component is initialized. It is used to set up the initial state of the component, register event handlers, and perform any necessary setup tasks. Question: How do you handle property changes in a PCF component? The property changes in a PCF component are handled using update view method. This method is called whenever the component properties are updated. Inside this method, you can write logic to update the component's UI based on the new property values. Question: What are some of the use cases of for PCF components? Common use case for PCF components include creating custom input controls, data visualization, interactive maps, and complex forms. They can also be used to integrate third-party libraries and services into Power Apps. Question: How do you package and deploy a PCF component. To package and deploy PCF component, you use Microsoft Power App CLI. The CLI provides command lines commands to build the component, generate the solution package, and deploy it into Power App environment. Once deployed, the component can be added to apps like any other standard component. Question: What is the React method in a PCF component? The React method is called when the components need to react to a user action or changes. This method allows the component to update its states and render as necessary. Question: Can you use third-party libraries in PCF components? Yes, you can use third-party libraries in the PCF components. This allows you to leverage existing libraries and frameworks to add advanced functionality and improve the development processes. Question. How do you test a PCF component locally? To test a PCF component locally, you can use the test harness provided by the Power Platform CLI. The test harness simulates the environment in which the component will run, allowing you to test its functionality and appearance without deploying it to live environment or production environment. Question: What is the significance of context parameter in PCF components? The context parameter provides access to the environment in which the component is running. It includes the information about the app, the current user, the component's property and other runtime data. Question: How can you handle asynchronous operations in a PCF component? Asynchronous operations in a PCF component can be handled using promises and async 
await syntax. This allows you to perform tasks such as data fetching, API calls and other time consuming operations without blocking the main thread. Question: What are the benefits of using TypeScript in PCF development? TypeScript offers several benefits in PCF development including static typing, better tooling support and improved code maintainability. Question: How do you ensure accessibility in PCF components? To ensure accessibility, you should follow best practices such as using the semantic HTML providing ARIA attributes ensuring keyword or keyboard navigability and designing the color construct, construct in the mind. This is similar to ARIA attribute. If you do use the HTML ARIA attributes, most of the accessibility related things will be taken care. Question. What is the role of destroy method in the PCF component? The destroy method is a lifecycle method called when a component is being removed or destroyed. It is used to clean up the resources, unregister the event handlers, and perform any necessary teardown tasks to avoid memory leaks. How do you manage state in PCF component? The state in a PCF component can be managed using internal variables and state management libraries. React, for instance, provides hooks like use state and use reducer to handle state effectively question can pcf components interact with the dataverse yes pcf components can interact with the dataverse using the web api provided by the context parameter this allows the components to create read and update delete in the dataverse enabling dynamic and data driven components question what is the significance of the output method in a pcf component the output method returns the current state of the component's properties. This method is essential for ensuring that the change made within the component are reflected in the parent app, enabling two-way data binding. Question: How do you handle errors in PCF component? Errors in a PCF component can be handled using try cache block, custom error handling functions, and logging mechanisms. Question. Can you use CSS frameworks like Bootstrap in the PCF components? Yes, you can use CSS frameworks like Bootstrap in the PCF components. These frameworks can include as dependencies and imported into the component style, providing consistent and responsive design. Question: What are some of the best practices for optimizing performance in PCF components? Best practices for optimizing performance include minimizing the DOM manipulation, using effective algorithms lazy loading and avoiding unnecessary renders question how do you update a destroyed pcf component to update a deployed pcf component you need to make the necessary changes in the components code rebuild the solution package using the power app platform cli features and redeploy the updated package into the Power Apps environment. Just to simply say that use the Power App CLI and make any changes and redeploy it. Question What is the use of notify output changed method in PCF component? The notify output changed method is used to notify the framework that the component output has changed. This triggers the framework to call the output method to update the parent app with the new data. Question can PCF components be used offline? PCF components can be designed to support offline scenarios by using local storage and caching mechanisms. However, their ability to function offline depends on the specific use case and how data synchronization is handled. Question: How do you handle localization in PCF components? Localization in PCF components can be handled using the resource file for different language and loading appropriate resources based on user's locale. The context parameter provides the information about user's language settings which can be used to select the correct resources. Question: What is the full name property in manifest file used for? The full name property in the manifest file specifies fully qualified name of the component. This name is used by framework to identify and load the component and it must be unique within the environment. Question. How can you share a PCF component with other developers or organizations? You can share PCF component by packaging it as a solution and distributing the solution file. Other developers or organizations can import these solutions into their 
Power App Environments to use the component. Question: What tools are available for building and deploying PCF components? The primary tool for building and deploying PCF component is Microsoft Power Platform CLI. It provides commands for creating, building, testing, and deploying PCF components, streaming, streamlining, and the development workflow. Question: How do you version control PCF components? Version control can be managed using the version control systems like Git by storing the component code, manifest file, and other things in the Git repository. Can you use React or Angular in PCF components? Yes, that is one of the good advantage of uh, PCF um, framework. We can include any of the existing or uh, JavaScript uh, frameworks or libraries. Question: How do you handle security in the PCF component? Security in the PCF components involves following best practices such as validating the user input, avoiding exposure to sensitive data, using secure APIs, and adhering to principles of least privilege. Question: What is the importance of unit testing in the PCF development? Unit testing is a crucial PCF development. Uh, it ensures the individual components function correctly. And this completes our. Uh, questions and answers with the PCF uh, components. Hope you learned something. Looking forward to see you in my next session. Bye for now.